we've got another project here, one I've been looking forward to, and so I thought I'd go ahead and jump into it. What do you think of that thing? It's a brush axe. It's not a zombie killer. It's a brush axe. But you can see here that what kind of what it looks like. I think I'm going to extend this handle by about four more inches and really give it some reach. This is a 36 inch handle. So I think I'm going to try to put a 40 inch handle on this thing just for the fun of it. So let me bring you down here on the bench and show you a little bit closer what, we, what we're working with. So you can see here, there are four rivets and there are these brackets that those rivets hold into place on both sides to help hold the wood, to kind of support the wood. And you can see here how it has cracked right down the grain between the rivets. On this side over here, you can see how it's cracked and just followed the grain. You see how that comes out right there? This one right here is following the grain. So I think what I want to do on this, you can see where it's popped out here. And I know it's a lot more labor intensive, but let's really strengthen this handle by making it a, 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 a laminated handle. So I think what I want to do is cut four pieces that are a quarter of an inch and then cut one piece that's a little bit bigger than this blade here. Run everything through the thickness planer, including this piece right here down the middle. And we'll basically make five, five um, laminations. That way, in every lamination, I'll keep track of them. Once I cut one, the next one I will take and flip it over so that the grain does not match on the different levels of lamination. And that should keep it from cracking and breaking out and should make it stronger. So let's go over and I'm gonna use ash for this project. Let's go over and cut that out and get it glued up. Now, we have these in sequence, so what I want to do is I want to set this one over like this and flip it. This next one we will not flip, and you'll see how that grain will be opposite. And it should, once it's bonded together, be even stronger than what it was before. So this next one will leave as is. And then this one, we will flip it and put it on there. Now, these are the two halves that we're going to use. And one of these, I am going to plane down, probably this one, it looks like the thinner one. I will plane this one down to go in the middle for the width of the blade. And so that will glue in between the other two halves. So let's run these through the thickness planer and we'll get them set up. I forgot to mention, now that we've got these all together the way 
that we want them, I'm going to number them. You can see how all the grain goes different. So I will know how these are supposed to sequence that they're supposed to be in. Now those numbers may not all show, but hopefully I'll be able to read each one. I might actually put dots, numbers here of dots so that if I can't read the number itself, I'll be able to at least know which one goes where. All right, guys, got these all planed and marked. There's the number five that goes on the bottom. There's the number four, and we've already got those grains mismatched. Here is going to be the centerpiece for the blade. I couldn't believe how nicely that planer worked on that and got that just to the right thickness. I was afraid it might shatter, come apart. And then we've got the two and the one which will go on the top and as i pointed out earlier the grains are already set so that they are mismatched and they will not be together so that they will split they will be crossed so that they will work against one another and will keep everything together so we're going to set this up get the glue and get ready to put this together i think i want to take the blade off of the old handle so we'll need to drill those rivets so i can place it in here and press it all together so it'll actually be pressed to fit so let's go do that we go got our board all set up hopefully you can see there it's laminated nicely and came out nice and tight still have the slot here for the blade so I'm ready to mark our handle on this and cut it out and I'm gonna have to line up for the holes here for the rivets let's jump into it
Here we go. This thing is a brute. Granted, it's not as, as heavy as the other kind of hook bill axe, but this thing is wicked. It is wicked sharp, as you saw, and I made the handle just a little bit thicker. As you remember, there are five layers of ash. This handle's a little bit thicker than what the one that was on there. I wanted to have plenty of meat here to be able to hold and withstand the forces that are exerted on this tool when you're swinging it. This here is a little bit wider. That's why we had to cut in on both sides because this is what fit a two inch. So this was two and a quarter across here. So we had to cut in on each side and hopefully that will still add to the integrity of the whole tool. Came out really nice. I really like how this turned out for that blade. That blade is nice and sharp. This handle is a full 40 inch handle from all the way from up here to here. The original one was 36. So it's a little bit thicker. You can see the end grain there and what that looks like. You can see the different layers of lamination as well. Well, friends, I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments. But there's just something about an old stained piece of iron dressed up with a nice sharp edge all nice and shiny and a beautiful elegant handle that just is so appealing to me i don't know what it is but this turned out wonderfully at least in my estimation let me know in the comments what you think if this was entertaining give us a thumbs up share this content with friends that you may know that might enjoy it and guys if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel hit that bell so that you know when we put up a video i try to put up regular videos on mondays and fridays don't always get that done every day every week but i try to and i sure appreciate you spending the time to come visit me in the shop i don't take it for granted look forward to you on the next visit have a great day god bless